Have you ever thought about creating a public route but with a hash? And you thought it might be tricky to manage the validation of the hash. In this video, I will show you how you can create a signed URL in Laravel. When I first wanted to create a signed URL, I thought, okay, so we need to add a unique hash in the URL and we will have to validate it. And there were other few questions in my mind, but I was wrong. It is quite easy and Laravel does everything for us. Okay, so let's get started. Let's say you have a route on your website and you want only people with the correct link to be able to access it. So that can be a very good example for explaining signed URLs. What we are going to do is send an email to user with a URL. And I've created two routes for this. Whenever we go to slash send mail, an email will be sent to this user. And the second route is the one for redirecting user from mail to actual signed route. For sending email, I have set up mail trap and the first thing you need to do is copy your credential from mail tab for Laravel and paste them inside your environment file. So I'm just going to copy these and I'm going to paste them inside my environment file. Don't worry about the credentials, I will reset them after this video. Next, we need to create a mail that will be sent to users and that mail will have the link to our signed route. So I've created the mail. I have named it send link. In order to create a new mail, you just use the command php artisan make mail and then your mail name. In the mail, is I am just sending clickable button which will redirect to our second route. And inside our controller, I am just generating a URL which at the moment is empty and I am just passing it to the mail. So let me show you how it works without implementing the signed route first. One thing I just noticed is that I've named it check URL, but in the route I named, I used check status. So let me correct that first. Okay, so now if I go to my browser and hit the route of send mail, an email will be sent. So if I go to my mail drop account, I can see an email with a link. So if I click on it, I am redirect back to my sign redirect, which was the second URL. So let's implement the signed URL now. In order to generate a signed URL, let's go back to our controller. And here I'm just going to use the URL facade and a method named signed route. And inside here we need to pass in the name of the route. So the name of our route is signed redirect. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And this way we have generated a signed route URL. Alright, so now let's go back to the browser and hit refresh. A new email has been sent to our inbox. So let's check. Open the email and click. Now you can see we are redirected back to our actual route but with a signature. But right now there is a problem. Let's remove the signature. You can see we are still able to reach out to this URL. So the problem is we have created a signed route, but we haven't restricted other user from reaching out to this URL. So in order to restrict the user from reaching out to our URL without the signature, we need to use something. If I go to kernel.php that is inside app HTTP and go to route middleware, you can see there is a middleware name signed. So we need to use this middleware. If I go back to my web.php and assign this middleware. Now if I go back to the browser, hit refresh, you can see we are getting invalid signature. So without a signature, we cannot access this URL. So let's try it with a signature now. If I go back to the mail and click here. So you can see with the signature it is working fine. If I change the signature however, let's say instead of 9 I add 8 and enter, you can still see the invalid signature error. Now let's say we need to give access to some user for some specific amount of time. So in order to do that, we need to use a different signature URL. For that, let's go back to the code into our controller and what we need to do is use another method of URL facade which is temporary signed route. This method takes in two arguments. 
the first one is the name of the route and the second is the time so I'm just going to do now add seconds and I'm gonna add 20 seconds so after 20 seconds this signature won't be valid if I hit refresh a new email will be sent to our inbox let's check it click it and you can see we are still redirected back and we are not getting any error after 20 seconds let's reload and you can see that the signature is invalid now you can also see in the url that there is expires and a unix time and this is how you can generate a temporary signed route i hope you have liked the content of this video if it was helpful for you kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content if you have any query feel free to ask me in the comment section below or if there is any suggestion that you want to give or a specific topic you want me to create a video on kindly mention it in the comment section below thank you for watching this video